All right, today we're gonna show everybody how to use your solar panels with microinverters in a grid tight install and show you how to do a rewiring to be able to do an off grid setup utilizing your existing solar panels with microinverters. Most solar panels that are grid tied to your home are already utilizing microinverters to be able to take the solar power from the panels and move them into your grid. Now because of this, you cannot do an off grid setup. So today we're gonna show you a way that you can wire up your solar panel setup so that you could still use your microinverters to your grid and utilize the solar panels in a DC connection to be able to wire it to one of our 48 volt inverters and be able to take your existing solar panels into an off grid setup. So disclaimer, this is for educational purposes. We have this solar setup here tied up with microinverters. Depending on where you live, your state and city and your regulations, you should double check. But if you're a DIYer and you feel confident you can do something like this, this is just another way to utilize your solar system to be able to get off grid power into a battery pack. So if you're ever in a power outage or you want to reduce your power bills, this is the way you can do it. We've connected microinverters to the solar panels. So now you can see we have these uh, cables here and then under here we have the microinverters and you have the solar panels directly connected to the microinverter, but we utilize an extra cable here to be able to splice the cables. You can still create a solar system that's wired up in series. So you'll take the positive from the first panel, run it to the negative of the second panel, and then the positive from that second panel to the negative of the third panel, so on and so forth. And you create a junction at the end so that they create a in-series off-grid DC system that is wired up to one of these uh, PV cables that could connect directly to the walrus inverter. So in this situation, each solar panel is wired up directly into the microinverter. So it takes the solar power and it runs it through the microinverter, turns it into AC power. We then have the microinverters uh, conjoined to each other using this cable and you can see that it's wired up to the next sets and the next sets and the next sets. Doing this allows you to take more solar energy inputs and run it through the microinverter, uh, through the microinverters to be able to get more solar energy and now we have it wired into this panel here, which in this, in your situation, could be your main electrical panel. In ours, we wired it up to this main shutoff and then we took another AC cable that's wired up through the bottom here, wired it up to the breakers here, and then we ran the wire over to that terminal port over there where you're able to connect an AC port and then the, you can see the electricity is wired up to the building so we can utilize grid, the solar panels in a grid tight system to power this building. This is gonna be a similar setup to how it is in your home. In your home, you might already have the microinverters. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some of these cables here that are gonna allow you to splice or allow you to separate the cables so before the power goes straight into your microinverter, you will wire the power to the next solar panel running them in series. At the final point, you will connect them all together, which connects back to this. The microinverters allow you to use the solar panel in your grid tied system. Now, the extra setup is gonna allow you to use the panels in series to get this DC PV connector, which will wire up directly to your inverter. Once wired into your inverter, you're able to take the solar panels before the solar goes into the microinverters and into your grid, it'll take it through the inverter on the walrus and then use it to be able to charge your battery packs. Now that we have the PV cable connected to the inverter, you can now see that the load is being split between the AC inputs to the grid and the DC inputs going to the inverter. When I connect the, the PV cable back to the inverter, it'll split the load down. It'll split the load down and you will be able to use the other, you'll be able to use the other load of the solar panels to power up your batteries. You'll still have grid power, but you'll also have power being stored into your battery pack. Now you can see the power going down. That would be the power going into your grid. All right, thank you for watching. If you needed to learn how to do this, you could go to our website, batteryevo.com, call in, and any one of our techs will be able to help you do this kind of setup, and we'll be able to help you get a 48-volt inverter with battery backup to get a solar battery kit.